Okay, welcome back to part two um, in this series about reasons why you can and you can't find a job over 50. In the first video, we looked at some of the reasons why it's challenging to find that type of or to succeed um, in securing a role over the age of 50. In this video, I'm going to flip that script and we're going to look at some of the reasons why it is possible and what you bring to a new career, a second career, a role once we've hit the age of 50. What, you, what I want you to do, if you like this type of video or you want to hear more, don't forget to hit a like um, button and don't forget to hit the subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow um, as we progress. Diving straight in then, reason number one is you bring a wealth of experience and knowledge to any industry. You've been doing whatever you've been doing for a long period of time, and you've got certain skills that are huge assets in whatever you bring to the organization. What we have to do is to look at your wealth, your knowledge, and your experience, and we need to put that in front of the employer. Remember, don't underestimate the power of your experience. It's what your employer is looking for. Number two is a strong network. You've been building your network for a long amount of time, over the years. Younger people haven't yet developed that strong network, so you can leverage it to assist you. You can use your network to open doors for you. Never underestimate the power of networking and what it can bring in order to open those doors. Opening those doors can even open opportunities that perhaps maybe you hadn't yet considered. So use the network, leverage it. Um, LinkedIn is a great network. Your personal network, previous colleagues, use your network to leverage anything. Reason number three is a proven worth ethic and, re and reliability. Employers love it when people turn up, do their job, get stuck in. Your track record will speak volumes in this. Reliable, consistent results is what employ employers are looking for. So I think having that experience and proven track record is something that you should capitalize on and build and highlight. Reason number four is adaptability and resilience. You've already weathered lots of economic instability. You've been there, you've gone through the process, and you've come out the other end. This resilience is something that employers are continually looking for. You only have to look at the moment, and resilience training is something that employers are investing in. They want people to be resilient. They want them to be adaptable. You've already proven that you've got that because you've come through a whole process and you're on the other side. One of the other benefits of adaptability is that you're proven that you're open to change. You're able to change. And this is something, again, that companies want. They want to be you open to change. They'll ask you, how open are you to change? How do you feel about change? It's something that um, you'll get asked on interviews about your adaptability to change. Well, you've already got experience and you've got information to fall back on. So when you get asked these questions, you can give examples. And again, giving those examples is something that an employer is going to be looking for. These are real life examples uh, of things that you've overcome and you've changed within the business. These are not hypothetical or theoretical. You've lived through them. The last reason would be leadership and mentorship. Organizations are always looking for strong leaders and individuals who can mentor. Your experience, your adaptability, and the four reasons that we've spoken about will show that you've got a proven leadership capability. You've learned, you've developed, and you've honed those leadership skills over a period of time. More than that, mentorship. Lots of organizations are looking for people to guide and mentor younger members of the organization. That puts you in a great position, not only to lead, but also to mentor. And I think that's something that employers are looking for is the ability to do both. OK, and I think that for is something that you can play on from a strength and an attribute that you bring those leadership and mentorship skills to the organization, particularly when times are challenging because you've gone through those. You've had to have strong leadership. If you think about going back to when we were talking about change, back, uh, resilience, you've shown that you can handle those skills. 
Remember, in times of stress, people regress, which means if things do get challenging, then that leadership skill will go back. And normally people will go back to a transactional style of leadership, whereas a combination of all styles of leadership will be more as a strength for any organization. So there you have it. Five reasons that are absolutely within your reach in order to land and secure your latest role. However, that's five reasons, and they've proven that you can do that. What we've got to do is how do we take that and get you in front of an employer? Because it's all well and good once you're in front of the employer, you can then go through that skill sets. But how do we get you into front of that the employer to have that face-to-face -face conversation so that you can highlight and demonstrate any of the issues or areas that they're looking for that you've got that proven? So I think what we'll do in the next part of these series is, is we'll start to develop and look at your CVs, your LinkedIn profiles, how to leverage past younger talent acquisition individuals to get to the hiring manager so that you can have those conversations. What I would say from my experience as being a head of talent working in, in inside of the organizations is how do you get past the gatekeepers in order to have those conversations with the hiring managers? What I found nine times out of 10 is once you've got past the gatekeepers and more experienced individuals such as ourselves, once we're in front of a hiring manager, our chances of securing that job go up compared to competing against our younger counterparts because we're able to articulate all of the questions and answers that the hiring manager is going to look for. It's understanding how do we get you into that position. As I said, we will build and look at those in subsequent uh, videos. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit the like, hit the bell icon, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Remember, keep smiling, and I'll see you on the other side.